Big winners this Christmas, shoppers at Amazon or Walmart.com and what is going to be the celebrity death match of retail history. Walmart has announced a new program to offer effectively a Prime-like service, free delivery for only 50 bucks a year versus Amazon's Prime at 99. Walmart's e-commerce business grew 30%, besting Amazon's 22%. Our money is actually on Walmart here. We think the future is multi-channel and the consumers want digital to service the connective tissue between sites, the stores, and consumers. And obviously Walmart has that retail footprint. Now, some of the data here is conflicting. In a recent survey, 56% of Walmart shoppers had shopped at Amazon.com in the last 30 days, whereas only 17% of Walmart shoppers had shopped at walmart.com. This is gonna be Ali Frazier. So a big loser, CPG and old economy firms that are experiencing a brain drain of unrivaled proportions as people flee these firms for Amazon, Facebook, and Google. We conducted an analysis on LinkedIn of the migration patterns of employees between these firms. And based on our analysis, over 600 P&G execs and over 300 at L'Oreal have left for a job at one of these three firms. How many are going back? Almost nobody. Now, it's not all wine and roses. If you look at churn rate, Amazon and Google have some of the highest churn or the worst retention of any of the Fortune 500. And then Procter & Gamble has some of the best retention. So everything is a trade-off. But again, people are headed one way here. A big loser this week, the short-term memory of some great media companies. See if you can identify this quote. For us, it's really about partnering with content providers and ultimately finding distribution and monetization channels for them. This was then Google executive Marissa Mayer trying to swash some of the concerns of lawmakers who were worried about newspapers dying at the hands of Google as Google began siphoning off all their classified revenues. Well, the same thing is about to happen again. Facebook announced Instant Articles, a publishing platform that lives natively on Facebook and hosts media partner stories such that consumers never have to leave the platform. The quid pro quo here, the media company gets to keep all the ad revenue. But here's the problem. The ad revenue doesn't work or the ad model doesn't work. These aspirational companies, the New York Times, the Atlantic, Nat Geo, are about great CPMs, higher CPMs. Key to that? Scarcity value. They have not only managed to create a competitor or buttress a competitor, they've managed to debase their content at the same time, similar to what they did with Google. This is a second self-inflicted wound. I have been to this movie as a board member of the New York Times, and it does not end well. A continuing loser, the American worker. The average S&P 500 CEO now makes more in a day than the average worker makes in a year. We did a search of the number of people with the title of chief digital officer trying to help people figure out a way to earn more money. And what we found is that the chief digital officer is a very popular job. If you can't find a chief digital officer at Mindshare, something is wrong as they have six of them. Dentsu has five and McCann has four. Here at L2, we are also experiencing title inflation. We have six people with the title cranky old asshole. However, I am all six of those people. We'll, we'll see you next week. week.